Well, I think 12 rebuild. It's, uh, battery's a bit swollen on the inside. I think the screen's broke at the top, just up there. So I've got to replace the screen. I've got to replace the battery. I've got to replace the housing. I've got a nice new housing here for it. So I'm going to replace that and then uh, it should be good to go. So you've got to make sure that you release all these side clips. That's the top. That's the side. And then the most important bit is by the SIM tray. If you, uh, if you want to save your screen, you need to make sure that you don't damage those cables there. Uh, also at the top up here, there's also a face ribbon cable. So make sure you don't damage that either because otherwise your face ID won't work. So I'm going to get that off now. This is inside the phone. It's obviously a bit of a mess because it needs an absolute, needs a brand new overhaul. Um, but there's the battery all swollen up, all nasty and swollen. Uh, I will be saving the um, the BMS off this battery. So we'll be going through that in, in a little bit later in the video uh, because we need to make sure, I need, I need to save that BMS to put it on the replacement battery. Right, we're going to release these two screws there and then them four screws there and get the plates off and to take the screen and the proximity sensor face ID off. But that's the face ID camera, but yeah, that's the that's the main bit. Right, that's so the screen taken off. We're now going to remove that tab, that tab and this tab and this tab and then we're going to take the battery out. I'm going to um, fit the new battery first to make sure that the uh, battery is fully working before we even start the whole job. Just put a little bit of alcohol on the top and the bottom. So I've, I've got this tab to come off here and the, this little tab and that tab to come off there. So I find the alcohol helps a little bit. Um, I've wiped off some of the battery information there by accident but hey ho this tab's almost come out now there we go just the bigger one next to it now and then the top right, now because earlier i put the um alcohol underneath this now i've took these bottom two tabs out i think it should and it is look there we go it's come straight out Lovely jubbly. One battery. Puffed up like a balloon. Unbelievable. So there we go. So I'm going to get, uh, we're going to start building, we're going to remove the BMS from this, fit it to the new battery, and make sure that it works properly. Right, I've exposed the battery BMS here. So we're going to cut off the, uh, this is aluminium, and then that one's nickel. So we're going to cut them straight off. And then I've got my replacement battery just here. I'm going to get that fitted. And then um, we're going to show you the process of how to keep the 100% in the settings. Just remember the orientation of the BMS with the battery. And then when we transfer it across, make sure that the aluminium um, anode or cathode is the same on the where you put in the replacement. And then we'll get that spot welded together. It's pretty much lined up to where I need it to be. So I'm going to get those spot welded now. Uh, this company decided to already spot weld some nickel on there for me. But it's exactly where I need to spot weld to get it onto the board. So I'm going to spot weld those on with my tiny cow weld spot welder. Uh, I'm going to do four joules and then five joules and then... Uh, probably end up about eight joules in the end to just put a few little tacks on there. It should hold it perfectly. With the BMS nicely fitted, they also give you like a plastic cover as well. So you get the plastic cover fitted. Uh, we fold the ends over. Nice, and then fold the other ends over. And then I'm gonna connect it in the phone. See what it says. New battery fitted, first power on. Let's see what happens. Should just say nothing really. Let me log straight in. There shouldn't be any problems. Finish it up. Yeah, I'm not bothered about that. So yeah, unfortunately, I've got to replace the screen because of that black bit there. That's what the battery swelling's done, and it's just broke that top bit. Uh, anyway, what we're most interested in right now is the battery battery health 
and that's at 87 percent so i'm going to put a external battery um, flex on there and we're going to um, read it and then get that up to 100 percent so I've, I've just put a brand new battery in it so that should say 100 percent uh one other thing i just need to have a look at is the passcode and face id so let's see if we can set up face id continue Say go lower, go higher. I think it works. So that's this good. is my uh, battery reading tool. Um, we'd have to press activate, uh, but until I connect the external flex ribbon cable, uh, we can't activate it. So, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna see what happens. But there's all the information about this battery. Um, yeah, we need to put the repair cable in. And then we can we can do the health and we can do everything else. Well, I only just realised that this battery says that its actual capacity is three thousand three hundred and twenty milliamp hours. Well, that's a lie. How do you fit three thousand three hundred and twenty milliamp hours in the space where only two thousand eight hundred and fifteen milliamp hours should be? It says it there on the back of this one. Look, they're exactly the same size. It's it's not bigger. It's not thicker it's not a bigger capacity battery so i'm going to just correct that i'm going to stick this on here there we go that's better and uh i might scribble that out and scribble that out but i feel better now that that sticker's on there much better i feel much happier now Right, this little bit of effects cable here, to fit this little tag on thing, we need to fully bend that over so it's back on itself. Now to do that, I'd like to heat it up a little bit. Um, so I've got my um, temperature heat gun set to 100 degrees. Uh, I'm gonna get that flex hot and then it'll be nice and easy to bend it over and make it the right On the way. back of that flex is a bit of sticky. So we're gonna stick that to the side of there. And then now we've turned that over, uh, that will be able to click onto that, leaving us with the extra battery connector. So that's when it's connected, we're just going to stick it to the side. Now you almost don't even know it's there. Beautiful. We're going to connect it to this now. Right, after an activation successful, button click, it'll say activate. And what we're going to do is we're now going to reset this to 100% health. And we're also going to reset. We're going to reset the cycle count. Uh, cycle count's on zero already, actually. Uh, so we're going to just do that again. Health, one hundred percent. Check. So clear cycle to zero. Check. And uh, now we're good to go. Right, we're going to put this back in the phone, and then when we we're not going to turn the phone on with the power button. We're just going to plug the power in to turn it on. So we've got the new now. battery connected, we've plugged it in, we're just waiting for it to turn on. This is, there you go. So that's just going to boot up. And it's then going to tell us that the battery's been replaced. It's a fake battery that we've fitted. So we click OK. We look at the settings, we get the important battery message up there. Unknown part fitted, yes, we know that. Battery, unknown part. So then we're going to turn the phone off. Wait for it to turn off and then turn it back on. Come on, turn back on. You know you want to. Come on. There we go. So now it's turning back on. I'm going to leave this rolling this time. I'm not going to pause it or anything. We're going to see it actually turn on and work. So we're back on. Will that go to a number one? Should do, yeah, there we go, worked. There's no more important battery message and hopefully it should say 100%. 100%. And even when you restore the phone back to factory settings, 
it still says either 100% or if it's used a bit, it'll say, you know, 98 or 96, uh, depending on how you use it. So I'm going to carry on now with my restoring of this iPhone 12. And I've got to remove all of the insides of this and put them into that. The nice new housing. So we've got them five screws and that removes the cameras. Those five screws there, the little cover and the cameras. I'm going to move on to removing the face ID next. Right, I've removed the face ID. That's there. There's a few little sticky pads. The sticky pad on this bit and the sticky pad on that bit. Um, it's kind of stuck to the bottom of this ribbon here as well. So moving on, I've got to remove, there's a pad here that needs to come up. There we go, so we can undo that. And that's for the side buttons uh, and the power button. And I believe it's also for the uh, charger as well. So it's the wireless charging. So it's this ribbon that runs here. Um, and then we've just got a few screws and we'll take the board out. So that's the motherboard out. There was a cheeky little hiding screw there that was stopping me from getting it out. But there's the, there's the main bolt, that one holding the motherboard in. And then this one. And then there's another cover for the uh, SIM tray and the um, dock port connector. So all them are off. We're going to start building them into the replacement housing now. Just need to get the speaker replaced. That'll be these two solder joints there. That'll fall off. I'll put it onto that one. Awesome finished. 